In this lesson, we will look at a fun way to learn JavaScript in the form of coder. There is active learning where you write code and then there is passive learning where you review code. Coder sits in the middle. You are passive in that you are not writing code, but active in that you have to debug the code that is on screen. This video is not sponsored by Coder, but they did reach out to me if I thought it would be worthwhile sharing it with my audience and I did find it an interesting way of learning. So here we are and let's go. Now we will be going through the examples at a fairly brisk pace. If at any point you feel overwhelmed, feel free to pause the video or slow it down. When you visit the website, you are presented with an example of the kind of questions that the platform provides. You don't have to solve this particular question, but it's pretty easy. It's 4 plus 4 star 2, which is 8, giving us 12, plus 8, giving us the answer of 20. You select the answer and it gives you a nice indication of success, and then we can proceed to practice. Now there are various levels of difficulty. In this lesson, we will go through a bunch of the beginner questions and see what we can learn. So let's go to the first one. As a beginner, this introduces you to the concept of variables in the form of let and the fact that JavaScript supports basic arithmetic on numbers. Here the answer is a simple 2 plus 3, which is 5. Now let's proceed to the next question. The objective here is to understand that variables can be reassigned. Additionally, it shows that strings support the addition operator to concatenate two strings. So A will be text, B will be demo, and therefore C will be text demo. And that is the correct answer. Now this question shows various other arithmetic operations supported by JavaScript. If the value of b is 2 and the value of a is 6, the answer is a simple addition of 2 plus 6, giving us 8. And that is the right answer, let's move to the next one. Now this question is about the order of operations. Being Australian, we use BotMass, but for the US folk, you might have studied PEMDAS. The key thing to remember here is that multiplication and division will happen before the addition. So 9 divided by 2 star 4 gives us 9 into 2, gives us 18, and finally we add 4 to get 22. And that is the right answer. Let's go to the next one. Now this question is actually trying to trick you so that you learn to observe the left hand side of variable assignments. You might be tempted that 6 divided by 3 is 2 and therefore you might think that the answer is 2. But the question is not asking you the value of A. It's asking you the value of B. And B remains unchanged after the initial declaration, so the answer is 6. And that is the right answer, so let's go to the next one. Now this question introduces some shorthand math operators in JavaScript. There is plus plus, minus minus, plus equal, minus equal, star equal, and slash equal. In the comments, you can see their longhand version. As for the answer, the plus plus and minus minus cancel each other out. Adding 4 and then removing 2 means that A is now 2. And finally, multiplying then dividing by 2 cancel each other out, so we are left with 2. And that is the right answer. Let's go to the next question. Now this question introduces the addition operator for string, which is used for string concatenation. We've seen that in the intro as well. And the answer here is simply, this is easy. And that is the right answer. Let's move to the next question. This question introduces the fact that you can add numbers to a string in JavaScript. Following the brackets, we get 2 minus 1 equals 1. So the answer is my one st try. And that is the right answer. So let's go to the next question. This question introduces the concept of associativity of operators. Binary plus is left to right. So the addition will take place step by step from left to right. So the first addition operator to take effect will combine my and a to generate a new string my1. That will then be combined with the next number giving us the string my11 followed by nd as held by the variable b and then try. So the answer will be my11 nd try. And that is the right answer. Let's go to the next question. This question introduces conditional code in the form of if else. Depending on the condition provided to if, either the code block in if will execute or the code block in else will execute. In this case, since a holds the value 2 and it is less than 4, the if will execute. a will be incremented to become 3 and that is the right answer. And that's all for this lesson on beginner practice programming challenges. Smash that like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And leave a comment below if you learned something new or would like to see more practice lessons in the future. 
and I will see you in the next one.